What's up YouTube, it's Robo again. I'm back with another jailbreak video. This is for iOS 8.4. It was just released, I think yesterday, iOS 8.4 came out and then the Thai G people came out with the updated jailbreak. You can jailbreak 8.4 on, I think every device. Uh, I haven't actually checked that out yet, but double check to see if your device is supported. I, I'm pretty sure every device on 8.4 is. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you how to do that really quick. The first thing you need to download is the 8.4 jailbreak. It's from their website. I'll have a link in the description. Go check that out. If it pops up like this on Chrome, that it says it's not commonly downloaded and could be dangerous, all you have to do is hit this little arrow right here and hit keep, and that will save it as a regular uh, download. Then you can just drag this.exe into your desktop. And then right there. Once you get that finished, you don't really need uh, the internet anymore, or at least Chrome or anything like that. So then you got to update your phone to 8.4. If you're like me and you're already on 8.3 and jailbroken, what you can do is take a screenshot of your uh, sources and of your installed packages and stuff so that you can have that saved. Because once you update to 8.4, it's going to erase your jailbreak. It's going to erase the stuff that you had on it. But you can just go back and re-add it into Cydia once you're done. So I go into Cydia just like this. Go to my installed section right there. And then I just take a bunch of screenshots of each uh, section of tweaks. And that gets saved to my iCloud, and then I can check it out a little bit later as well. So I'm just going to go through here, take screenshots of each of these. I suggest you guys all do the same. Or you could use different apps from Cydia to back up your tweaks and stuff, but sometimes it doesn't work. I prefer to manually install them anyway. So there we go, that's all done. Then my sources, and definitely do your sources if you haven't done it yet before because I forget them sometimes and I can't find the tweaks that I'm looking for. So once that's all done, you go to settings. You wanna make sure you back up to iCloud or to iTunes before you do anything, just to make sure you have all your stuff saved. So I go into, on my phone, I go into iCloud, and I go down to backup, and then I make sure that I do a backup right away. So I'm doing that right now. You guys should all do this right now too, and I will come back once this is done. And what you can do as this is backing up, you can actually download the 8.4 uh, update as well. You don't have to update it just yet, but I click download only. It's going to take a little bit. I'm not sure how big it is. Uh, it should tell me right up here. So it is oh, 2.23 gigs. So it's going to take a little while depending on, how you, depending on your internet speed. So uh, get this downloading while you're backing it up and while you're doing everything else. And then I'll come back once everything is finished. This is almost done, but you want to make sure that you're on the latest version of iTunes as well. Right now, I'm on the 2.1.2.27. If, if you downgraded iTunes before to upgrade to, or to uh, jailbreak 8.3, make sure you're on the latest version now. You want to be on 2.1.2 or 2. Point whatever, the, whatever it was, 12.1.2. There it is. So make sure you're updated to that. This is almost done. So once this is finished, uh, then you go in and you're going to want to hit update on your phone and let that update to 8.4. It's gonna erase your jailbreak. I don't know if it erases your apps and stuff. I'm pretty sure it does, uh, but I'll, I'll double check that and I'll let you know once this is finished. So that's all done. I'm gonna go ahead and hit update. That's fine. I already backed up. And then hit update. And then you gotta enter your passcode. There you go. Okay, this is almost done updating to 8.4. Once this finishes, all you have to do is you can either, if it erases all your stuff, you can either uh, restore from iCloud or iTunes and get all your apps back first, or you can jailbreak first and do that later. Uh, they both work. You can you can save your jailbreak if you if you back up or if you restore from an iCloud backup as well. So. I, I suggest backing up or restoring from the backup before you jailbreak so that we can get all your apps ready to go. They're all synced up with 8.4 and then run the jailbreak. That's what I'm going to do. So once this is this little bar finishes up, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Okay, actually, it looks like it didn't erase anything. So once you, if you get this error on iTunes, don't worry, don't panic. If the little bar is still moving up on your phone, just let it sit there. Uh, it asks you to type in your iCloud password. Next. <clears throat> I think it doesn't get rid of your apps if you hit update on iTunes instead of restore. So you can either restore and erase everything or just hit update and keep all your stuff. That's what I did. So let this get synced up. All right, as you can see right there under version 8.4, it 
but it does get rid of your jailbreak, like I said. It keeps all your apps, which is nice, but you have to re-jailbreak. So, once you get that finished up, just minimize iTunes. You don't really need it now. Open up the Taiji uh, 2200 jailbreak. So make sure you have the right jailbreak. This only works for Windows right now. You can run it on a virtual machine if you have a Mac or uh, anything like that. So you can you can do that, but I suggest running it on a Windows machine. Uh, this is turn off my turn off find my iPhone. So I'm going to do that really quick. It's through iCloud, and make sure that you have your passcode lock turned off as well. I ran into that issue a couple times. There we go. So now I'm going to hit recheck, make sure everything's good to go. Uncheck the 3K assistant. I don't know why they add that to it still. It's a pain in the butt, but uncheck that. Make sure Cydia is checked and just hit start. And let it do its thing. Make sure it's still plugged in, and that's really all you got to do. Just wait for it to finish. It looks Sometimes it looks like it's getting stuck. I was sitting here for a little bit, but it looks like it just passes right through. Yep, and then it restarts your phone anyway. So if it, it, even if it looks like it's getting stuck at 20% or something like that, just let it sit. If you're waiting more than like five minutes, five, ten minutes, then you might have an issue. I would just unplug it and try to restart the whole process. Uh, but if, if it's taking just a little long, just, just wait to see if it passes through. Because uh, it took me just a couple minutes here to let it finish. But this is almost done. It's rebooting for the last time, I think. You can go ahead and hit close on this and just let this reboot. And then once it's done, you'll be able to see uh, you'll be able to see that it's fully jailbroken. And I think a lot of the apps on or a lot of the tweaks on 8.4 are working through Cydia, so you won't run into as many incompatibility issues with uh, 8.4. I think that you did with 8.3. But you still have to wait for some of the tweaks to get updated to 8.4. If it says that you can't install it or anything like that, just wait for that uh, developer to update it to 8.4. So this is done. And then right there, you see Cydia. Now, it might say your storage is almost full. It's probably just a glitch. It's not true. But I'm going to open up Cydia. Let it do its preparing file system, and then you can go ahead and install some tweaks. So go back into your photos, make sure that you have uh, all the tweaks, all the sources that you had saved, make sure you add those back into Cydia, and then you'll be back to normal, right on 8.4, the newest version of iOS. So, hope you so let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Like the video if you do, because it helps me out a ton, and it only takes you guys a second. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Facebook, because I post a lot of stuff on there that I don't necessarily post on YouTube, and it also helps me out, because then I know uh, what you guys want to see. You can send me messages, and I can, I can make videos based on that. So, once again, thank you guys so much, and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks, guys.